guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. I am Rohit Agarwal. In this session today, we are going to look at the master concept that makes solving the questions from averages really very easy. So at the end of this video, you will walk away with a lot more confidence in answering the questions from averages. Now, what is the actual definition of average? Sum of all the values by the number of values, right? The formula that we use for solving questions based on averages is sum of all the values divided by the number of values, which is the conventional method. But if you look at the concept, we can say that average is nothing but an equal distribution, right? It is the equal distribution of the total amount or the total value among the given persons. For example, let us say uh, the average score of uh, 5 batsmen is 80 runs, right? Average score of 5 batsmen is 80. Now, irrespective of their actual scores, we can simply understand that each of the batsmen here has scored 80 runs. Now, in the actual case, some of them might have scored more than 80, there may be a batsman who has scored a 0 and there may be, you know, one of them who has scored exactly 80. But then for our understanding to be simpler, just assume that each person has scored 80. So that's equal distribution, right? Average is simply an equal distribution. And with this idea of equal distribution, solving questions from this topic becomes really very simple. Let's look at an example. The question says average age of 12 students of a class is 15 years. When the teacher joins the group, average increases by 2 years. What is the teacher's age? And that this is one of the most popular models from averages that is asked in many competitive exams. Right? What does the question say? Average age of 12 students of a class is 15 years. Now going by our logic of equal distribution, it simply means that the 15 student, uh, 12 students, each of the 12 students here is 15 years old. Now their actual ages may be different, right? but for our understanding to be easy, each student here is 15 years old. So 12 students, each person's age is 15 years. Now when the teacher joins this group, average increases by 2 years. The actual average was 15, now the average is increased by 2 years. That means the new average is 15 plus 2, that is 17 years. And this 17 years is the average for how many persons? It is for 60, uh, 12 plus 3, 12 plus 1, 13 persons, right? There are 12 students and now teacher has also joined the group. So total 13 persons. So for 13 persons, the average is 17 years. What does it mean? Each of the persons here is 17 years old. Equal distribution, right? It is an equal distribution. Very well, we know that teacher's age will be much more than 17, right? It cannot be 17 years, but going by our understanding of equal distribution, we can say all the 13 persons here are 17 years old. Now we need to calculate the teacher's age. Look at it. As per equal distribution, teacher is 17 years old, but because uh, the teacher has joined the group, each person's age here has increased by 2 years. Earlier, all the 12 students were 15 years old, but now they are seven year, 17 years old. That means there has been an increment of 2 years in each of their ages. Why did this happen? Because of the teacher, right? This goes to the teacher. 2 years contribution to each of the students is by the teacher. So we can simply say that the teacher's age is 17 years, which the teacher already has, plus 2 years given to all the 12 students, right? So 2 into 12 is 24, 24 plus 17 will be the teacher's age. So we can say the teacher's age here is equal to 17 which the teacher actually possesses plus 2 years given to the seven, uh, 12 students. So 2 into 12. So 2 into 12 is 24, 24 plus 17 is 41. So we can say teacher's age here is 41 years. So this is how we can use this concept of equal distribution in answering questions from averages. And you will find that even in other types of questions from average, we can use uh, this method of equal distribution.